Hi guys, my name's Brooke. I'm an animal keeper here in the African Rift Valley at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And I'm lucky enough to work with our vultures. So here with me, we have our two Cape Griffin vultures, Hedwig and Godric back here. <laughs> Good catch, Godric. So up front here, we've got Godric, our male Cape Griffin vulture. You can tell him apart from Hedwig, our female in the back there. Hedwig's got a nice yellow band on her leg. <laughs> so that's a quick and easy way to tell them apart when you're here visiting the zoo. And then we also have a third vulture. She's a Eurasian griffin vulture. Her name's Nesher. And you can tell her apart because she's much more brown um, than these white vultures. These guys are super smart. We've done a lot of training with them. They all step on a scale, Nesher crates, um, and we're working really hard on shifting behaviors. Um, they stay outside most of the time and they can come out a lot more if we get that shifting a little bit more consistent. Um, Godric and Hedwig also, we have trained to have a good interaction with guests of eating off of a hand with a special glove, of course. Um, but they're super friendly and have built a lot of confidence over the years with us with our vultures. Um, here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, we use positive reinforcement training and vultures are scavengers, so they don't need to eat every day, which has proven uh, a little bit complicated to get them to have the food motivation, but we've really found a great way and their training has progressed so much. They come down to us and eat from us and we'll shift inside if there's bad weather or anything with us and they are much more keen on coming down to us uh, for the food. They can see us from across the giraffe yard in the boardwalk um, and get ready and come right down to us. Um, so a lot of their confidence has built and it's been a learning curve for us as well, uh, knowing that these guys only eat about like three times a week, um, but we've made it work and they've made a lot of really great progress. So vultures are super important to the ecosystem. They help stop the spread of disease. Godric sneaking up behind me. Um, so conserving them in the wild is super important. So if you've been to the zoo before, you know our Quarters for Conservation program. Um, one of our animals that benefit that are vultures in Africa. Um, we donate a lot of money to this great organization called Volpro. They do a lot of rehabilitation for vultures, research um, over in Africa, and a lot of breeding. So they help a lot with the vulture population over in Africa and we are lucky enough to help them with our Quarters for Conservation efforts and donating to them and sponsoring a lot of their research. Vultures are, they are endangered. Um, there's a lot of ways that we can help here locally for turkey vultures, your local um, vulture species. You can call your local wildlife if you see um, roadkill and they can come and move it off the road so that turkey vultures are less likely to be struck by a vehicle. Thanks for hanging out with me and the three vultures. Next time you're at the zoo, keep an eye out for them up on the safari trail.